this video explains how you can create a new web app uh, using a free trial subscription in Azure so for that you have to go to the create web app uh, wizard and as you start this uh, wizard first thing you have to do is select the subscription so right now uh, I'm gonna select free trial subscription because that is the only subscription that I got and uh, then you have to uh, select the or create a new resource group so resource group is uh, nothing but the collection of resources for example virtual machines apps databases storage accounts etc so everything uh, related to one project or one client can be put into one resource group so that when that project ends or the client ends the agreement we can uh, release those resources by deleting the resource group so all the uh, resources that are in that group can be deleted easily so this is just the logical collection of the resources so i'm going to create a new resource group here uh, we can put any name like say soft post rsg1 so that is the first resource group then i'm gonna give the uh, name to this web app say hello world and you can see this name is already taken uh, because this uh, names should be unique all the web apps that you create will have this uh, suffix as azure websites dot net you can see here hello world is already taken so i'm gonna select a different name hello soft post suppose and this name is available then uh, next thing that you need to do is select how you are gonna publish this app using the docker container or code i'm gonna select code there in the runtime stack you have to select uh, what runtime you want to use because web apps can run on different technologies like ruby python php node then in java servers we can select asp.net .net code as well so it is just that uh, you have to select what kind of technology you want to use i'm gonna select node 12 lts central lts let us select php 7.3 doesn't matter really the next uh, setting is uh, a region and operating systems so operating system you can select uh, based upon the stack because uh, php can wor work on linux as well as windows but if you select asp.net it may work on uh, windows only so based upon that you can select the ways then region uh, you can select uh, region based upon uh, where your application is going to be used so central india or australia i'm going to select australia east the app service uh, plan next settings app service plan pricing tier determines the location feature cost and compute resources associated with your app so i've selected linux in Australia East region so for that this service plan is created and uh, here it is saying SKU and uh, size so 3.5 GB memory I will get and uh, 210 total ACU so we'll uh, look at this what is this uh, meaning of this SQ and size this is just to measure the how many resources uh, you are using then uh, next monitoring Azure monitor gives you full observability into your applications infrastructure and the network so you can enable the app insights is not supported for your current selection of a runtime stack operating system publish type or the resource group so you can't select that then tags these are the name and value pair that enable your categorized resources and view consolidated billing by applying the same tag to multiple resources so this is just for billing purpose and then finally you can create review and create your app so this app is gonna use this subscription this resource group this is the name of the app and it will be running on php 7.3 with this uh, service plan asp and then let's click on create and you can also download a template for the automation so that is basically arm template that you can uh, download basically uh, which allows you to 
create this app at runtime using ARM template. And the deployment is underway. So when you create the web app, it actually creates this resource uh, and uh, the type of this resource is Microsoft.web server farms and here it is optional details. So you can see hello post soft uh, this resource is created. This is the website basically. This is the service plan and this is the website. Let's go to this resource. And you can see here uh, the details of the application uh, that we just created a resource group status is running location is this one subscription ID then this is the URL of my web uh, app and uh, app service plan is this one FTP uh, username FTP host name uh, all these details are given there and if you go to this uh, app this is how it is gonna look like so this is the default uh, page that opens up but uh, you can definitely uh, like design your website and then uh, uh, that website will be open here so right now this is the I we, I we haven't put anything in that uh, server or the web app so in the next lecture I will show you how you can uh, actually uh, deploy something into that website it is deployed the app is deployed as such but there is nothing inside that that, that means there is no files or the code logic or anything is there so next lecture I will show you how you can use the GitHub or any other uh, Git uh, repository to push your files into this app and then you can see those files here right within your app. If you have more questions on this let me know through the comments. Thanks for watching this video.